Welcome to the Eldorado County District Attorney's Office Cold Case Homicide Webisodes, where each month we'll be featuring one of our over 60 cold case homicides and asking you, the viewer, to help us solve a cold case homicide. Last month we featured the senseless assault and murder of 17-year-old Carol Anderson, whose lifeless body was found here in South Lake Tahoe. This month's cold case has mistaken identity, love triangles, threats of violence, and of course, an old-fashioned money dispute, an IOU, which all goes down on Halloween night, 1995. This cold case homicide starts right here, in rural small town Pollock Pines just 45 minutes east of Sacramento, up Highway 50, nestled amongst the pine trees and the rolling mountains. Hog Pines, like most small towns, have their local diners, steakhouses, a community church, and ah yes, a bowling alley and local bars. Halloween, 1995. Billy had been hanging out with a few of his friends and took their children trick-or-treating for them. When Billy returned, it was apparent he was ready for the adult party scene. Billy parked the truck right here, which was back then an abandoned house. A short time later, the neighbors who had been home heard a pop, which they thought strange for a rural road and chose to go out and investigate. That is when the witness saw two subjects fleeing the area and yelled for his wife to call 911. Someone had been shot. Sheriff deputies arrived along with fire emergency personnel, but it was too late and at 9.10 p.m on October 31st, 1995, William David Kefauver was pronounced dead at the scene. Were the rumors true? Was this a drug deal gone bad? Or was it something more sinister than that? Who convinced, tricked, lured Billy to park in a rural part of Pollock Pines and wait for his own killer? If you have any information regarding Billy Kefauver's murder or information regarding any of our cold case homicides, please contact us. And remember, the friends and family never forget, and neither should we.